Hello everybody, Sticky Piston here, back with another video on the Create Mod. Now, we already built an escalator with the Create Mod, so now it's time for an elevator. Now, this thing is quite cool. I have the elevator car down here. So, if we... Oops, where am I going? So, we click the button and it should oops i fell through that was not meant to happen Did you see that it is slowly going up to the top you can see the lives here and we can click the down button and then we slowly start going downwards can see you can look out the window and now I do want to show you another feature of this elevator that you might have seen already but this elevator features a call button so you see here on floor two the elevators on floor one oops didn't open those we click the call button and that will request the elevator to come up to our floor you can see should arrive shortly and also if you notice these doors automatically open and close when the elevator starts moving see that it opens we can come through now i will just quickly show you all the mechanics of it then we can get to building it so to move this we are using a mechanical piston and we just have a creative motor here hooked up to some cogs and whatnot. You can see here we have some of these redstone links and some toggle latches to basically change the direction that this thing moves in. But anyways, I'm going to show you now how to build this. So I'm going to move my wrench out of the way. Let me just get rid of all of this stuff because I don't really need it. And now, start building. So we will need linear chassis. Let me just move this. Uh, we will need a sticky mechanical piston and some piston extension poles. We will need mechanical belts, small cog wheels, a source of rotational power we'll need redstone links we will need we will need one button if you do not want the call function but you'll need three buttons if you do want it and then uh, we'll need power toggle latches specifically and we'll also need redstone dust anyways Let's get started and also forgot to mention we also need blocks to build our elevator out of so I'll just use brass casings because it's the easiest. So we want to start out by finding the place that you want to build the elevator obviously. And these three blocks here are basically the same as these blocks here. Then we want to do is we want to place a temporary block here and then a linear chassis here oh and also something else I forgot to grab we need slime balls and this will vary depending on how big you want your elevator cage to be I'm gonna make this one three by three but over here I believe this one is six by six but I'm going to make this one 3x3 three three over here. So what we want to do is place a linear chassis here. Again, temporary block and linear chassis. Then we want to place two more, like so. And two more, like so. And just like fill it in to make like a square. Then we want to grab slime balls. And we want to make the top faces of all of these linear chassis sticky by using this then we want to grab 
blocks for our thing to be made of and also something I like to do is I like to make the floor of the elevators out of sea lanterns. So I'm going to place a sea lantern here and then I'll surround it in brass casings but you can do literally whatever you want. Anyways I'm just going to, actually no I think we can keep these blocks. I'm just going to change the flooring blocks to polished andesite just so we can keep track of what is the elevator and what is the floor. Then we want to place on the bottom side, the corner, the back right corner, we want to place a temporary block and in place of that block we want a sticky mechanical piston. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make our, we are just going to pull it up to where our second floor is going to be and just want to make that and then we want to work out how many blocks that this piston needs to push. So we want to start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We want to make it one block below our floor. So we want ours to push 13 blocks and you have to remember that number I recommend you just write it down because we want to add that many extension poles so I'm gonna need to dig into the ground to be able to fit all of this so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so again, put as many as you need to get up to the top floor. Then we want to grab out shafts. So I'm just going to go over to the create tab and grab a shaft. We want to place a shaft here, a temporary block and another shaft. And then want to grab mechanical belt, place one here and then like so then we need to grab out it seems I also didn't grab that we need clutches we need two in particular so grab a clutch and you want to place uh, if my game will stop lagging you want to place one over can my game stop lagging I'm going to place one here and one here. Next, what we want to do is grab out our cogwheels, our small cogwheels. Place one here and one here. Next, place redstone links on these clutches. And we want to grab out a wrench. Or you can shift right click on these. And you want to turn them into receiver so they have this disc around the antenna and just move that and now we're gonna grab out blocks and we're gonna make a small little platform for our redstone to go on I'm gonna place a block here one here 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 temporary block one up like so and this is gonna be our platform for the redstone it's actually not much Want to grab our redstone dust and our power toggle latches. Place one here and one here. Place two bits of dust, a redstone link here. Switch this one to a receiver. Oh, I can't do it with the thing in my hand. Make it a receiver. And then we want to place redstone links here and here. And keep these as, as senders. Now you will need three available frequencies. So I'll, so these cannot be used anywhere else on the world. Otherwise it will interfere with your thing. So what we want to do is 
just grab like random items to use. I'll use, I don't know, cobble, deep slate, and red sand. Why not? I'm gonna place the cobble deep slate in frequency 1, the red sand in frequency 2, and then the red sand in frequency 1, and deep slate in frequency 2. Then I'll put just red sand as frequency 1 over here. And this is the most important step to make sure that this thing works. We want to right click one of the toggle latches. And if my cable stop lagging, we can see that it toggles to on. That is very important. Oh, that my game now wants to lag. Okay, so then we want to figure out where our button is going to go. I'll place, oh, we have a warped button. I think they look cool. Then we want to just find a place to put the button. I'll just literally put it here. And then place down the button and our redstone link like so. And we want to then grab the frequency for the button and place it in this redstone link like so and keep this as a sender. Do not change it to a receiver. And we can actually do the same thing at the top but I'm just going to do that later. Now we want to configure how this thing works, how we are going to change the clutches to be on or off. So we want to grab one of the frequencies and place it in this one. So I'll grab the red sand in frequency 2 and the deep slate in frequency 1. Then the deep slate in frequency 2 and the red sand in frequency 1, whatever these two frequencies are set to. And then we want to hook up our creative motor here or our source of rotational power. And depending on what frequency you put where, it might start going up. If it isn't, just click this, just give the button a press and it should start going up. Now what we want to do is we want to add the button on this floor also. And oh, sorry, we want to add another extension pole. Clearly I cannot count. So that's actually a good time to test the button. So I'm just gonna make this hole a bit deeper. Now I'm just gonna click the button and it should, yep, it's coming all the way down. Now if you want to you can gear up the speed a bit so it's not this slow. In fact I will gear it up slightly to 24. I think this is a good speed. Now what we want to do is we want to click the button again and it should go up all the way to the top now. We actually had to add an extra extension pull. But once that is done I'm just going to get rid of this. We want to grab out our blocks again and we want to make the same button system. So again whatever your frequency was and keep it as a sender and what just happened there's red sand on the floor now okay so then you are basically done so you can just give it a quick test and how come that didn't work oh i put in the wrong frequency yeah, the red sand was supposed to be in the top. So I now need to break this thing and replace it. Now the button should correctly go. Okay, and now all you have to do is decorate. Which is one of my favorite parts of this, apart from the mechanics itself so let me just get rid of everything and you can decorate this literally however you want it really doesn't matter but I like to use framed glass which is actually part of the create mod so I'm just gonna make a little rectangle or well not rectangle a square 
and I'll start by placing framed glass around like so. And you can really just do whatever you want. Eh, lag. So just like place blocks around, you get the idea. I'm not gonna finish decorating this because I mean, you get the idea by this point, just like surround it in whatever. And anyways, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want so you can stay up to date with the latest videos that I post. And comment down below if you think what you think I should make next in Minecraft. But anyways, guys, have a wonderful... Oops, I broke that. <laughs> have a wonderful day and goodbye. Now I need to replace that.